In the wake of numerous reports of horrific rapes in various parts of the world in recent weeks, people have rightly been outraged and are demanding justice for the victims and measures to prevent sexual assaults. I share the outrage and stand in solidarity with the survivors and with those demanding justice. But I am concerned that there are also calls and in some places laws already been adopted bringing in cruel and inhuman punishments and the death penalty for perpetrators. The main argument being made for the death penalty is for it to deter rape, but in fact, there's no evidence that the death penalty deters crime more than other forms of punishment. Evidence shows that the certainty of punishment, rather than its severity, deters crime. In most countries around the world, the key problem is that victims of sexual violence do not have access to justice in the first place, whether due to a stigma, fear of reprisals, entrenched gender stereotypes and power imbalances, lack of police and judicial training, laws that condone or excuse certain types of sexual violence, or the lack of protection for victims. The death penalty consistently and disproportionately discriminates against the poor and most marginalized individuals and often results in further human rights violations. I urge states to adopt a victim-centered approach to fighting the scourge of rape and other sexual violence. It is crucial that women are active participants in designing measures to prevent and address these crimes and that law enforcement and judicial officials receive the requisite training in handling such cases. Tempting as it may be to impose draconian punishment on those who carry out such monstrous acts, we must not allow ourselves to commit further violations.